I'm Hetal. I'm Anuja and it's Tip Tuesday on showmethecurry.com. Mm -hmm. And today's tip is how to work with tamarind. Now mm -hmm. a lot of us see this kind of tamarind in the Indian stores, Asian stores, and it's dry and it comes in a little package. Mm -hmm. And we wonder what do we do with this, right? <laughs> Very fibrous, a lot of seeds. Mm -hmm. And what we did was we put it in a bowl and took about a half a cup of water and put it in the microwave, heated it up really well, so about two minutes or so, and just allow it to come to a boil. And then we uh, put it into the tamarind. Mm -hmm. And look at this, this has been sitting here for about 30 minutes and the dry tamarind has soaked up a lot of that water and it's become really soft and mushy. So at this point, what we're gonna do is try to remove some of the fibers that are in there, and the best way to do it is use your hands. So take your hands and just mash it. And it's really soft, but you'll still have to work at it just a little bit to remove the fibers and the seeds from the pulp. And meanwhile, I have equipped myself with a strainer and a bowl that I'll be going to strain that into. And now if we can see, it's really saucy almost, you can see. And see if you can notice there's seeds here that just kind of come out. So the only way to get them out, or actually the easiest way to get them out is use that strainer. So I'm gonna pour this in here. And I have a spoon. I'm just gonna press it down so all the tamarind that we want, the paste or the juice is all here and the fibers and the seeds are left in the strainer. I try to get a lot of it out but there's still a lot more juice left in this so I'm going to put it back in the bowl and we're going to work with it a little bit more. And it's back in the bowl and we have additional water which is going to add a little bit more and this is the second soaking and you can put a little more water or a little less water, depending on your application. If you're making something like sambar or rasam, mm -hmm. where you know that uh, it's going into more liquid, then feel free to add more water. Yep. But if you're making chutney and you don't really want it so watery, then you can also make do with a little bit of water. Same process again, kind of work with it and release the pulp from the fibers. Okay, here we go, second try. Pour it back in the strainer. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again. So after the second straining, most, I mean most, of the tamarind flavor and the sourness has already come out. But uh, you know, if you feel bad about wasting, you can do it a third time and get every little bit out and mm -hmm. personal choice and keep continuing to do that. But just keep in mind, the more you do this, the diluted your final product will be. So after two times, it's perfect to use for any of the recipes that call for tamarind pulp. You can just measure it out in tablespoons and use it. Mm -hmm. The other option you have of is, is, you know, this takes a little time and a little bit of pre-planning. But if you don't have time, you can just make a little extra. So you can keep it in the refrigerator for about a week or two. And, uh, you know, that way, anytime you need it, it's ready and you have it. So just make, you know, make a little bigger batch and just use some and keep some. Mm -hmm. Now the flavor of this is uh, remarkably different than the concentrated tamarind that you get in yes. the jars mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people are opposed to that because it really makes your food really dark brown in color whereas this does not as much so it also has a, a milder flavor. So the choice is yours and if you have a great tip that you'd like to share with us please share it at tips at showmethecurry.com that's t-i-p-s at showmethecurry.com and join us on another Tuesday for another tip on showmethecurry.com.